In this video, we're going to take an input using a GUI. Um, specifically, we're going to take an input for a string. Taking inputs that aren't strings using GUIs requires another step, which I do cover in a later video. But this extra step takes a little bit more understanding. So again, with taking inputs, it's the first step is you need to make a variable to hold that information. Since we're going to get a string, I'm going to create a string and I'm going to call it name. And I'll just initialize it to nothing. Again, remember, initialization is important in, in certain respects, but if we're going to write over that variable, it doesn't matter what I put into it right now. I could put Paul, I could put Phil, it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a built-in a built-in method inside the J option pane class. So I'm going to go J option pane dot, and that built-in method is show input dialog. And there's a couple versions of this, but I want the version that takes two parameters. So the first parameter I will set to null. Again, we don't explore what this exactly means right now, but it has to do with when you're placing this box perhaps inside another window. For now, we don't have to worry about that. And then the next one is my message. My message would be, what is your name? Semicolon. Now again, notice it's automatically prompted, or sorry, it's automatically written the import statement that's required. If you go back in the video, you'll probably see it just appear suddenly. So if I run this now, I get my pop-up, what is your name, and I put Paul. So now let's use this information. So I'm going to say system.out.println your name is actually let's do a pop-up. So let's do another window. J option pane dot show dialog show sorry show a message dialog no your name is Now if I run this, hopefully it will work. So I'm going to say my name's Tim, because your name is nothing. So let's pause for a second and look at why this error occurred. You might have been saying as I was typing this in, he's made a mistake. So remember, when I take an input, I need to remember where that input is going to be stored. So I'm going to rewrite this line here and just show you something. So I'm going to say pain.show message dialog. So I've, I've kind of stopped sorry, not show message, show input dialog. And I've stopped here, and I, what I want you to take special notice of is this word right here, string. This is the type of variable that is returned by this method. So show input dialog is a built-in method that does something. When it's done doing what it does, it, it sends back a string, which in this case is the input the user has given. So what I need to do in this case, and put your name, I need to, once this line here is executed, I need to have somewhere to store that information. And to do that, I say name is equal to J option pane. So now what happens is when this show input dialog box pops up, the user will take, the user will, will type in the information, hit enter, and then that information will be stored inside the name variable. Notice if I highlight show message dialog down here. Oh, let's get, there it is. See the difference down here? Show message dialog doesn't return anything. It says void. That means that show message dialog doesn't give anything back for the computer to process. So now if I run this and I say my name is John, our next box is your name is John. So let's just recap here. Whenever we want to take an input, we need to have a variable to hold the information. In this case, I'm storing a string, so I need a string variable. We can take inputs using a method, show input dialog, which is contained within the J option pane class. Remember, if you use the J option pane class, you have to have this import statement up here. If we look at the documentation for this class by hovering over the, sorry, documentation for this method by hovering over it, we see the word string here. 
And what this means is that when this method is done doing what it does, which in our case is pops up a window where the user can type something in and hit enter or click OK, it, it will give back a string for the computer to process. And in our case, that means we're going to put it into name. This is called an assignment statement, where the left-hand side is a variable and the right-hand side does something to generate something to put in that variable. And then we output it using the J option pane. J option pane show message dialog. Remember, J option pane is the class, and inside that class it has a specific method called show message dialog. So let's run this once more. My name is Timmy. Your name is Timmy. I hope that helped. In our next video, we'll look at how to take inputs for integers using the show input dialog box, which requires one extra step. Hope this helped.